I got Hello Neighbor 2 Platinum, and it was one of the most confusing and glitchy games I've played in a while. Now, Hello Neighbor 2 has 15 trophies in total. Out of these 15, 11 of them are story related, and three are missable. Jumping right into the game, we start off with a cutscene where our character is driving down the road, and we stop off at the neighbor's house. This is when we see him dragging his son into the house, and we watch him, and for some reason, we just take pictures of him? Kind of weird. We might be kinky. After the neighbor catches us looking at him, and he gets in his house, grabs a shovel, and starts walking slowly to the door while we fiddle with our keys. And right as we put the keys into the ignition, he gets the shovel and bash the window open. What? And as we're driving away, some random crow person's in the road, and we crash into this barn, and we're led into the tutorial. Now the tutorial is basically the whole aspect of the game. Puzzles, jumping, climbing, everything you're gonna need to know. And this was only the start of very confusing puzzles, which at some points I did have to look up because my brain could not handle them because I'm a little bit smooth brain on the right side of my brain. But other than that, it's really big. Once I was done with the tutorial, I finally got my first trophy. This trophy was just to beat the tutorial, so that was pretty easy. That's kind of suspicious though, they knew I was gonna be there. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, we got our first trophy. Welcome to Raven Brooks. Complete tutorial. Next, we're put into a cutscene where we're getting out of bed, which this story was really confusing. I just had to cut myself off right there. It is so confusing because he knocks us out and then he puts us back into our like house radio station thing. I don't know. And he even healed us, I think. Like, fix our head or whatever. But anyways, we look at this camera, and then we're off. Thrown into the game. This is the part where I was so confused, so I had to look up something for the first time. I watched a little bit of a walkthrough where he said to go up this trampoline, on the roof, in this house, go to this painting, open this painting with a robot, you'll get a robot arm, you put it over here, you put it on the robot, you turn the hand to a certain angle, his eyes glow, he gives you a latch, you put the latch on this thing that controls the train, the train switches tracks, pushes these scissors, and you get the scissors. That is one of the most convoluted things I've ever seen. And I had no idea how I was supposed to figure that out. I mean, probably if I looked a lot, maybe, but I didn't want to spend hours playing this game. After I got the scissors, I guess I just went into the house and started looking around. Now once I figured out that this game was a bit weird with its puzzles, I started to think outside the box. And a lot of the puzzles I actually did do legit, but some of them I had to look up because I was super confused. So how the trophies work is there's a day and a night. Each time you beat a day, you get a trophy, and each time you beat a night, you get a trophy. Until you get to the end of the game. And each day has a different house. Right now we start off at day one which we were in the neighbor's house. We had to do all the puzzles in this house without getting caught by the sheriff. So I did all the puzzles in this house, causing me to get into the basement and finding a note. We're in the basement. What do we get? Oh. Kosling hath uh, summoned keys stolen. Oh. Oh. Oh, case closed. Complete day one. After a little paper airplane comes around and hits us in the chest, it says Hepla me, which is for some reason they changed the letters in this game to stand out, but they could have just put help me. I don't know. Anyways, we're on to our first night. Now on our first night, there's nothing really we have to do except go to the museum. And then once we pick up the shovel, it's over and we go to day two. Oh, it's a cutscene. Uh oh. I'm getting dizzy. Oh, shovel night. Complete night one. Next we have day two. For day two, all we have to do is go to a bakery and this is where we can get our first missable trophy. Now for this missable trophy, all we have to do is feed a cat and then we get the ability to pet him. Now the thing about feeding him is you have to give him a certain food. So I looked all over this bakery to find a certain food and he wouldn't take anything until I found a refrigerator that actually had a lock on it. I looked inside and there was like a little fish biscuit. So I had to find the key. The thing about the key is it's behind the lady who owns the bakery. So I kept trying and trying to sneak up behind her, but she kept moving in a way I couldn't get it and she kept catching me or she wouldn't let me grab it. So it was really annoying, but eventually I did get it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So I unlocked the fridge, gave the cat the food, and I got the trophy. Just place it in the bowl. There we go. Now we can pet the cat. There we go, cat person. Haven't we met before? Day two was basically just like day one, where I had to go get all these puzzles done. Then once I did all the puzzles, I'd go into night two. But 
At one point, I got so confused on this cash register puzzle, I had to look it up again. I had everything I needed for this puzzle, which all I needed to get were certain numbers. And I was missing one number, and I was number one. And I kept looking everywhere, and I could not find it. So I looked it up, and of course it was literally right where I started the day, in the cat's bed. I spent all this time just for it to be in the cat's bed. I picked it up, put it in the cash register, and out came a key. This is when I finished day two. Five, seven, six. Perfect. Oh shoot, grab this. Hey, easy as pie. Complete day two. Now for night two, this is when I can get my next missable trophy, Climber. Now this trophy wants you to climb to the very top of the museum. I was only able to get this trophy in night two and not night one because night one, the museum wasn't fully open. And now night two allows you to open up the museum and get to the roof. So that's what I did. All right, so then I guess up here and that will be the trophy. Let us see, let us see. And maybe this is taking a little bit longer. Yes. yes, climber. Synchronization complete. After I just did a bunch more puzzles in night two and that was really it. Family lost, complete night two. And then I'll just skip over day three and night three. It's basically the same thing as day one and night one and day two and night two. And there wasn't really any trophies except beating the day and beating the night. There we go, and now we got this key. There we go, treasure hunt, complete day three. Goodness, that was horrible. Oh, there we go, ancient curse, complete night three. There we go. On to day four, this is where I got my last missable trophy. This being called dog person. It's basically the same thing as cat person, except I have to get the dog food. What you have to do is grab a fire extinguisher, go to the side of the house, go over to this grill, Spray the grill to cool down the fire, grab the meat that was on the grill, go over to the dog that was in the front of the house, place the meat in his bowl, he eats it, and then he'll let you pet him. And then I give you a little pet. There we go. Dog person. Yes, you can. Now, as I was completing day four, I was going, I was doing all the puzzles, doing good, and I got to the very end where I picked up the key, and the trophy popped, and then my game crashed immediately. Good enough. All right. Now we got the secrets. Oh, we got the key. Gear key. There we go, hidden secrets. Oh my gosh, the game literally crashed right as I got the trophy. That's so stupid. Next, we went into night four. This is where we went back to the museum, and this is where I can also get the next trophy I needed to get, Mad Scientist. Now, this was a story-related trophy where you have to get all these animal heads and place them on the animals. This wasn't too bad. Oh. Oh, Mad Scientist. The truck an abomination. But upon doing this, it led us to the last part of the game. It opened up some stairs that led to an attic. I went up the attic, went over to a cage, saw that I needed a key, looked around for a key, found the key, got the key into the lock, and I was into a cutscene. And L number two. <gasps> Imprisonment. Complete night four. What's up, little boy? What what's your name? I I found your paper. To help you. Or he pill you. You? Me? I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's more. So now we have to escape out of here. Now, once we were in the cage, we had to do another puzzle. And I thought I was done with puzzles because at this point, I was so tired of this game because of how annoying these puzzles were. And I was just tired because it was late. So for this puzzle, all I had to do was find these numbers around the room and then type them onto this code that was on the gate, which if this kid was paying attention enough, he could have already escaped. And also this code wasn't here before. I don't know when he installed that, but he did. So I did it. I got all the numbers and I put them onto the wall and nothing happened. I was a bit confused, like, what? I did it. I put the code in. And I had to look up a guide again because for some reason, my brain, I wasn't thinking about it. All I have to do is go over to the side and look at it from the perspective of the person opening the gate. And then I put the numbers in like that, which is pretty, that's pretty good. But 
I didn't think of it. So then I opened the gate and I was out. And once I was out, I remembered I grabbed a lever from a bear, which next to the painting that had this crow cult thing, there was a lever switch. So I placed the lever there and I was able to find a hatch. I dropped down the hatch and it began the end of the game. Now it was like a little boss fight kinda. Uh, all the doors on the outside were locked. The only way out was a crowbar and a key. And this part was super annoying. The thing about the AI in this game is it's not really smart. It just knows where you are at all times. Because sometimes I'm not even making a noise and he hears me. And this happened repeatedly throughout the game. Now I didn't talk about this earlier in the video because I just wanted to cut as much of this stuff out because you guys don't need to watch all that. It was a lot and it was very boring. But every time I would just walk, it would make random noises and the AI knew exactly where I was so it would cut me off. It didn't learn anything. It just knew where I was. So it was pretty dumb. Anyways enough of my rambling. The thing I had to do was find the crowbar. Now the crowbar, I had already seen it before. You have to throw something at this window and it breaks and you get the crowbar. After that, you have to find the wrench. Once you get the wrench, you have to unscrew the fire extinguisher that's in the back of the room. Grabbing the fire extinguisher, you have to go to the front of the room, spray the key that's on fire, grab the key, then you have to go to the door and unlock it. Now that was the goal and I tried this multiple times, but the neighbor knew exactly where I was, so he kept camping me, which was annoying. Dude, I literally can't get it because he won't move out the way. It's ridiculous. But at one point I finally did it, leading me to a cutscene, which made absolutely no sense to me at all. And that's when I got the reunion trophy, beat the game, also giving me the platinum. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go! Hey, come on. Bro, just let me leave. I knew it. I didn't say it before, but I knew it. I literally knew that thing was gonna fall on him. Bro, I predicted that so well. What the heck is that? Oh. I don't know. Now we're dead. Oh, reunion. Beat the game. And there we go. Platinum. True journalist. Prove your worth to Raven Brooks. And that's it. That's the Hello Neighbor 2 Platinum right there. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any games you want me to get Platinum next, let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to get notified when those come out. And with all that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. See you.